as if, uh, as it sounds, the government's going soft on HS2, the hugely expensive high-speed rail line that was supposed to connect central London to Manchester, there's no one better to speak to this morning than the mayor of Greater Manchester, Labour's Andy Burnham. The problem for him might be that Labour also seems to be pretty wobbly on the project. Let's find out what uh, he's thinking this morning. Andy Burnham is in Bolton today, heralding the start of his new bus network in public hands for the first time in 40 years. Good morning, uh, Mayor. Good morning. Morning, Trevor. I know, I know you want to talk about buses, and I, I promise we're going to do that, but first we have to talk about uh, trains. Um, I know that you'll be furious with the government, but will you be equally furious if your own party leadership doesn't commit to building the line in full? Well, they are committed to it, um, but like everybody, the Labour Party and ourselves, we will have to respond to what the government, what the government says. So we, we await uh, that uh, decision. But it's very frustrating, uh, Trevor, I've got to say. You know, here we are today in Greater Manchester, putting buses back under public control. We are levelling ourselves up. We are improving public transport. And then I look over there and I see the rug being pulled uh, from under us while we're trying to do it. You know, I've just heard your discussion uh, a minute ago about, you know, oh, well, you should have east-west instead of north-south. I, I would actually say an east-west line is really important for the north of England, uh, as well as north-south. Why is it always that people here are forced to choose, that we can't have everything? We've, you can have this or you can have that, but you can't have everything. London never has to choose between a north-south line and an east-west line and good public transport within the city. Why is it that people in the north are always forced to choose? Why are we always treated as second-class citizens when it comes to transport? This was the Parliament when they said they would level us up. If they leave a situation where the south, the southern half of the country is connected by modern high-speed lines and the north of England is left with Victorian infrastructure, that is a recipe for the north-south divide to become a north-south chasm over the rest of this century. And that is why people here uh, are fed up with false promises uh, and also watching now what is a you know what seems to be the desperate acts of a dying government this is really not right and not uh, fair burnham, to people here who were given so many promises andy burnham i i understand uh, and let yes let's leave the dying government aside for a moment let's talk about your own party where you i i suspect have greater influence and you said that you understand they're committed to it but in the last week uh, Pat McFadden, the General Election Supremo for Labour, was asked about it, wouldn't commit. Rachel Rees was asked about completion of HS2, wouldn't commit. Keir Starmer was asked about it, wouldn't commit. Will you be saying to them today, look, you have to say that it's going to happen? It's not a question of whether you choose this or that, but your own party, which you would say looks like it could be in government, is also, like the Conservatives, not committing to this. Well, no, there have been commitments, so I'm not sure you're right about that, uh, Trevor. It, it is stated policy uh, to do both and to do Northern Powerhouse Rail in full. And the point about HS2 is it builds the enabling infrastructure for Northern Powerhouse Rail. So that is a commitment. But as I, I was just saying, well, I, everybody I is going to have to respond to what the government announces. And don't let the government off the hook, but, Trevor. They are the but, ones who are we're, pulling we're not, the plug. <laughs> so why is this you, straight we, away we a Labour had story? Quite a lot of, let's, we've let's had have quite it, a lot of time talking right about here. the government. And you've just talked about the government. Um, we have talked to You're Labour leaders to in the last week and asked them directly, and none of them will commit to it. Uh, will you say to them this morning, it's time for Labour to put its cards on the table and agree that it will well, run, I, I, that HS2 will run from central London to Manchester? Well, I have been saying that to them and I said it yesterday, I will say it again today. The north of England should not be forced to choose between whether we have a good east-west line or a good north-south line. We need modern rail infrastructure here because it's that Victorian uh, infrastructure that is the reason why we have so much rail chaos in the north. You know, other parts of the country have not had to choose. Why, why do we have to choose? And if you think of it this way, Trevor, if 
HS2 had started here not about in the north I'm just asking about and was going south, there is no way at all that the government would be cancelling it if it was going south. They would not be cancelling the London leg of HS2 if it had been built the other way around. I, I, so I'm, not I, I'm saying it to you... my own party and I'm saying it to the government as well. I'm not asking you about a choice between North, South and East, West. I am asking you about your own leaders, your own shadow chancellor, your own uh, campaign I've supremos that. position. I've, well, I've and I, I just that. want you to, I just want to be clear that you want to say to them that you would like them to say without ifs or buts that they will be committed to this project. Yes, I, and I did say that uh, a moment ago, but I, I can say it again. I, I said it to them yesterday, I will say it to them again today. I said a few seconds ago that we should have both a new north-south line and a new east-west line. And the reason why you have to think about both is because HS2 builds the enabling infrastructure for the Liverpool to Leeds uh, line that you were talking about uh, before. So that, that is our position. If it is not built, you will leave the north with Victorian infrastructure when the south of the southern half of the country has something much better and that will actually level us down. So in the Parliament, when the opposite was meant to be happening, the, 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 the foundations will be laid for the North-South divide to become ever greater in the rest of this uh, century. And, and that's what's at stake here. You know, I, I honestly can barely believe that this is what the government are about to do. Days before they come to Manchester for their conference, they are about to okay. ditch a commitment that they've held for 10 years since George Osborne okay. came to Manchester to launch the Northern, the Northern Powerhouse. OK, by, by the way, will the Tories be welcome in Manchester now? Well, got the, I don't know week. what they're going to announce. I, 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 I would say to them, think carefully before you take this decision. You know, think about the city you're coming to. Think about wh whether it's fair that there is such disparity between the great cities of England in terms of the infrastructure that we have. Of course, we, we will welcome them, as we always do, but they will also hear directly from us about what we think is fair treatment for our city. You know, no one's been in touch with me yet. This is a huge decision that affects okay. the future of our city and the country, and I'm still no. waiting to hear from the government as to whether or not our views will even be taken into account as a result of all of this. Well, that is a striking point that nobody's talked to you, but I, I, I want to give you the chance to talk about the, the, the buses uh, project. Uh, the Manchester B network is now in public hands. It's now your responsibility. You are launching something big. Um, the question I want to ask is, is it big enough? I mean, have you got enough resource? Are you going to be able to create a big enough network to make a difference? Well, um, of course, uh, we, we will need support if we were to expand it into a true London-style system. That's the, uh, the, the ambition that we have. It's government policy. But the government will have to support buses here and elsewhere in the country if that is to be delivered. But this is a really significant day for Greater Manchester today. Uh, we've had 40 years of deregulation, uh, Trevor, as have other parts of England and bus services have gone backwards year after year during that uh, time uh, to the point where the network has really shrunk back. Overall, passenger journeys have halved in the 40 years of deregulation outside of London. Uh, so there is a need to build bus services back up. And this gets me back to the commitments that the government made. They, they said they would level us up. They said we would have better bus services, better rail infrastructure, and they need to stick to that. Uh, but we, we have taken a big decision here. There's a change, as you can see behind me, coming through onto the streets of Greater Manchester today. The buses are better. We're cutting the cost of public transport by 20% today for people using uh, our buses and our trams. The B network is going to bring real benefits for the travelling public. And I would just say, why are we not getting behind this as a country? Why are we not backing public transport at this particular moment in time? The more the government backs us, the more we can give people a real, uh, okay. a real incentive to leave the car at home. Uh, just very quickly, talking to some of the, hearing the uh, to, Sky correspondents talking to some of uh, people in Manchester, they're saying reliability is going to be the important thing. Uh, are you assuring people of Manchester that this new service will be more reliable than the one they've had before? 
Yeah, yes, and they can hold me to account for that. You see, the thing about the okay. deregulated system, Trevor, is if a bus is late or it doesn't turn up at 